Hi everyone, it's Julie and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another Zara haul for you guys. Again, we have a lot to go through so I will try to do as quickly as I can. Today I'm going to be showing you what I got and tomorrow I will be trying everything on. I will also leave my measurements here and in the description box below so it can kind of help you and be a reference to you. The very first one is actually my most expensive purchase from this. It is a leather, I would say like a leather trench coat, faux leather. I got it in a size small and it was $149. I loved it because it was very, very long. It's going to be kind of hard to show you. The leather feels very, very soft, even though it's like faux leather. There's a lot of buckling around the neck. This is the neck collar part. It's got a collar like this. Okay, and then it does come with a belt. It's got um, little designs on the shoulder like that with the button. There's like buckles on the wrist so you can adjust it tighter if you'd like. I do like that the buttons are matte finish, so it just kind of blends in with everything. I think that was a perfect choice because I think if it was shiny, it would have looked really cheap, you know? It is thin, which I don't mind because I got it for like fall. And during the winter time, if I can fit my sleeves in here with like thicker outfits or thicker tops, I feel like it's still gonna keep me warm. Got a huge slit in the back. Let me show you. This is the back of it. <laughs> I need to show it to you like this because I can't do it the other way. You won't be able to see it. And then this is what the front of the buckle looks like. Ta-da. Um, and then also has this. I don't know what this is for. There's nowhere to buckle really. Is this how it works? I think you just kind of like push it but maybe it'll slide off. But anyways, this is the first purchase I got because it's gonna be fall. Or is it already fall? I don't know. That's weird. But it's making my fingertips feel weird. It left like a weird film on my hand. The next one I got, oh, I did not know these had shoulder pads in it. Look at this color, so pretty. I believe it's oversized. I got it in a size small. Okay, yeah, I'm a little confused because this says it's $99.90, but on my online receipt order, it does not say that. It says that I paid $49.99 for it. Well, okay. So um, this is feels really thin. It feels oversized. I hate that there's little threads of, uh, like little threads everywhere. I don't know if you can see it here. You can see it here. There's like pieces of threads like coming off. It's everywhere, it's on this side too. Oh my God, it's everywhere, ugh. If you decide to get this, I would definitely recommend go get it inside the store so you can see and make sure all the threading is good because this is no. The inner lining feels like a very satiny fabric. You're joking. I hate it when blazers don't have I do not like it if blazers or pants don't have pockets. Anyways, it comes with black buttons, which isn't my fave, but I have been looking for a pink blazer outfit for a really long time, so I kind of just went with it. Let's move on. So this one is a top. I got this in a size medium, and it says $27.90. If it's wrong, I will put the correct price up here. If it's not, I'm just gonna keep it the same. This is a long sleeve top. Ta-da, it feels very soft, very, very stretchy. I probably could have gone away with getting a small. It does also have like this right here. It's kind of a cutout. That bottom piece stretches out and then you have like those triangular shapes. That's, that would be where your skin goes. So I thought that was super cute. Um, I love anything with cool cutouts, anything that's neutral color but not basic, I love. The next blazer I got. This one I got it in a size medium only be because oh, only because I didn't have a small and this was $119. Well, that's what it says on here. And obviously I want like an oversized fit anyways, so I don't really know if it's going to be too big. It also has like little mini shoulder pads, not too much, and it's very flowy and very thin. It's a very thin thin one. I really like the colors of the buttons too. It matches really well. Please tell me these have pockets. Please tell me. They don't have pockets. Who wants a blazer with no pockets? Damn it. 
It's only got one button in the front and it's super lightweight. I thought it was gonna be a lot heavier. See, the inside has like a satiny fabric. Hopefully I like the fit. Next, let me show you the matching pants for that pink blazer. I got this in a size small and it says $69.90. Look at how bright that pink is. So effing beautiful. Wide legged, ta-da, it's pretty wide. And I believe this is a high rise. Um, it has a little latch, also comes with a little button. Um, in the inside right there. It's a pretty like thin fabric. Also has belt loops, so if you wanna add belts, you can. The next top, I got this in a size medium. It says $45.90, great. <laughs> I thought this top was, I was gonna be able to wear it braless, but I don't think I can. I'm gonna have to wear a freaking bra with it or pasties. Even if I wear pasties, you're gonna be able to see it. Why do they make tops like this? Why can't you make like boob covers? Okay, so anyways, I got this because I thought it was gonna be uh, not as stretchy, but it's got a good amount of stretch to it. I love the pattern, look at it. So beautiful, and then it's like, you know, your shoulders are open and then the sleeves are connected right here. I thought that was so freaking cute. Look at the detail. Hopefully it's all showing up, the different details. And then the neck is just, what do you call this? A crew neck? I've been trying to get a lot of brown stuff as well because I don't have a lot of brown. This looked super cute. I got this in a size medium and it says $39.90. So this one, what do you call this fabric? Is it like tulle? Is it like mesh? It's see-through. So this is a see-through sleeve. It is stitched at the bottom, so that's nice and neat. I think this is um, off the shoulders and the front part, it's got that like draping effect, but it also is a corset. So let me show you, ta-da. And I feel like I could get away with not wearing um, any pasties or bras with it because there's enough fabric in the front to kind of cover everything. And it even has thumb holes. Oh yeah, thumb holes. In the rim, like by the chest area, it's got this like stickiness to it, probably to help you hold up the girls or just hold up the top, you know? This, oh, I thought it was a bodysuit, oops. I got this in a size small and it was $35.90 it says. I honestly thought it was gonna be a lot more like beige, but it comes off very like peach color. So the top and the sleeves are sheer. The ends are cut like this. It literally looks like they just cut it off. I do have a brown top from Zara that's just like this, but actually at first I didn't like it, but when you put it on, it actually doesn't look that bad. I'm just worried about it when I wash it, so I might hand wash it. And the back has a little button and it looks like a little rose gold button. On the back you see it just goes straight across but in the front, it curves. Do you see that? <laughs> the fabric is nice. It has an invisible zipper on the left-hand side. Corey and I have been sharing jeans. So I decided to get more in case uh, she liked the other ones. This one I got in a size 38 and it says $49.90. But these are, I believe, high-waisted. This might be too tight for her. It is wide leg and then it's got some cuts. I really love the raw hem. I love that. Uh, I don't know why. I don't like it when it actually has like the finished um, edge to it for some reason. I just really like it when it looks like it's just cut off. It's a button and then it's got a zipper. I got another pair of denim in a size 38 and this one says $49.90. I believe this one is also high-waisted. This is like a light jean. And then um, it does have the edges down here, the hem on there. And then I thought this was kind of interesting. So it's just a little latch. It does have a button, extra button for more security. And then you just zip it. It has two back pockets. And it says it's flared, but it looks like wide leg to me. So I like the quality of it. It feels nice and soft. 
and flowy. So we are on to our last pair of pants. This one is also wide leg and it is in size 38. And this one also says 49.90. It has the raw hem, which I love. So these are ripped in the front. Ta-da, they have rips right here and then also rips over here too. It's got belt loops, it's got back pockets. This was a button and a zipper. But I like to specify that because some jeans have all buttons, right? There's like five buttons that go down and I know some people don't like that. That's why I like to specify if it's a zipper. Okay, so those were everything that I got from Zara. I will try everything on tomorrow and let you guys know how it fits. So for now, I will see you guys next time. Bye. Good morning, everyone. Now it is time to try on our Zara pieces. Here is the first. I freaking love this. The color is gorgeous. And it feels a little bit tight, but also I haven't been working out and I've been eating tons of pasta. So that's probably why. And it's super high-waisted, which I think is good because, you know, I'm on the shorter side. So I feel like it's gonna make my legs look long. It's got pockets. I like where the pockets are. These ones are a size six. It's one of those latches, see? But you do have a button in case you need more security. That's what the side looks like. This is what the back looks like. All right, you guys, I got this blazer because I thought it was gonna match the color of these pants but they do not. It's actually a lot darker. It looks different on camera. I really don't like these buttons. I don't like that it stands out so much. It fits really well. I think I got this in a size small. It's got shoulder pads in there, but it's not too like dramatic. It's a bit short on the sleeves, I would say. I thought it was, this was gonna be like, I guess it kind of is like an oversized type of look, but it looks too like businessy like work office to me. So I'm going to return this. And I think I said there's no pockets, but I think it does come with pockets. You just have to undo the thread. On this jacket, if you didn't watch me opening the jacket, it has a bunch of threads coming out of it and stuff, which I think is ridiculous. Like maybe it's like a defect or something. To be honest, I feel like the jacket color is a bit more Looks more like on the expensive side because it's not as like fluorescent. I think I was just so desperate to find like a pink, pink blazer outfit, like blazer and trouser outfit that I was like, oh, I'll just get whatever. And sometimes when you look online, they're always different, right? It's a gamble. Here is the first pair of jeans that I'm going to try on. I freaking love these. Um, they do fit really nicely around my thighs and my butt. And then it gets kind of like loose around the knee. Like it starts to get loose like by the knee area. So it does kind of like flare out. So it looks like the baggy fit, but also it kind of, it's like fitted around this area, which I love. However, it is too tight. Like it's super high waisted, which I love, but it's a little bit too tight for me. Like if I stand up, it's fine. But when I'm sitting, Look at it. I'm just gonna be spilling all over the pans. It's gonna be pressing into my stomach and not be comfortable. But I mean I feel like if I just lost a little bit of weight, it'd be fine. But um I'm also sharing this with my daughter, so I think I'm going to get something different. Look at how it looks on the butt. Oh my god, that's so cute. And because the hem at the end is like super raw. It is really long. I would just cut it off. You know what I mean? But these are super cute. I would get them if you like super high waisted. I definitely love this top so much. It's super duper cute, but you do kind of have to wear it with something that's a little bit like more low rise, unless you want to tuck in this corset part otherwise it sticks out so i would say it's good for like low rise jeans maybe something like flat like leggings or something like that this doesn't match i just wore both of these so i can show you both at the same time i freaking love this top however there are some disadvantages because it's attached like that you're definitely restricted it does have like sticky stuff at the top of the bra I almost wish they weren't attached because then I can like move a lot more. I do like that it has thumb holes, so that's nice. However, because it's attached, you're very restricted. So this is not a top 
that you can just like go about and like you know like swing your arms and whatever whatever no like you have to be super careful because it can probably like break off also it was kind of hard getting the top on i couldn't put it on through the top i had to actually like scoot it up and that was hard too because it's like little i do want to mention i don't notice like my nipples because this is all like tool or mesh or whatever this fabric is see it's like that but you've got a layer of boning right here. It's also got underwire, but it's not super strong. So you know when sometimes some things have like underwires in it, but then it like, it lifts off of you. Like that's kind of what it is. So this top is very, how do I say this? Um, there's a lot going on with it. So if you're someone that like doesn't like any inconvenience with your outfits, then this is not it. But if you're all about like, cuteness and looks then yeah go for it i think it's very pretty that's what the side looks like and then that's what the back looks like okay let's talk about these so i think these are super cute because they are so different it's almost like they just cut off the top and there's like no belt loops it looks more like clean cut if you're on the shorter side these are great because um they're probably going to shrink a little bit when i wash it and it's very comfortable and it's just has pockets in the front and it's just a very simple jean. It's got pockets in the back too. Very, very cute. I managed to put this top on without having to undo the button in the back. See that little button right there? Kind of erased my eyebrows, but it's fine. Anyways, this top is beautiful. It's simple, it's chic. I love that some parts of it are sheer and other parts are solid. I really like how it's more curved up at the top and it's like a thicker material. So you can't really, you can maybe kind of see a little bit of my nipples, but it's not too bad. However, I am gonna return it because I feel like this is just nothing for my skin tone. I just feel like this color kind of like I don't know, I just feel like it doesn't compliment me as much. So I'm going to return it. The sleeves are very long, definitely. Like, look at I still have extra and it's really, really long, which I like. That's what the back looks like. And this is a top. So I'm wearing like a super high-waisted uh, jeans and then I just like tucked it in. And there is a zipper on the side, but I don't need to use that. Okay, so these are the black baggy jeans these have like the same fit i think it is the same one as the other blue ones that i tried on the very first ones where it's very high waisted and then it fits really well on the butt and then like the thigh area and then it starts to get like flared and baggy towards the knee and it has rips in it rips in it here i really like this and then that's what it looks like from the back Except again, same issue, it's a bit tight. I feel like I just need it to be a little bit lower. Like this is too high-waisted. At the bottom of the pants, I don't know if you can see, but it's like a raw hem. So if anything, you can just cut it off. But even if it had a regular hem and if it was too long, I think I would just chop it right off, you know? Because I, I like the raw hem look. I like that it makes my legs long, but I got a little fluffy puff right here. And so it kind of like squeezes and definitely when I sit down, it's going to be very uncomfortable. So this is definitely a win for me. Freaking love this top. However, my, this is, you need something underneath. You need pasties, you need a bra. I wouldn't wear pasties because you would be able to see like the whole thing. But I guess depending on where <laughs> your boobs land, but my nipples land where it's like, the knitted part like like this part so um <laughs> it's completely see-through so i definitely need some i need to wear something i think i wonder if even wearing something black underneath it would be cool you'd have to be careful washing this because it's very feels very delicate and because there's so much texture in it i feel like it can get caught on a lot of things like zippers or buttons and stuff like that so i would be really careful i'd probably just hand wash this to be honest because it's really pretty and i got this in a medium and i'm so glad that i did because my boobs needed all the room <laughs> but that's the back of it the sleeves are attached, but it's not as restricted as the other one because the fabric of this feels a little bit more stretchy. 
you can move a lot better in this top. This is very, very cute. To be honest, I wish the neck part was a little bit closer, but it's still okay. It's more of a cream, like off-white. No, I would say cream. It's more of a cream color. It's so beautiful. I can see it being a tad bit itchy, but you know, it's just very cute. Here is this top. So I wouldn't say this is like my favorite top. It's not like, oh my God, it's such an amazing top. Everybody has to have this. Dude, I need to work out. Okay, so I do like the cutouts, right? But sometimes, like if you do that, I don't know if you can see. Like, it kind of like rolls with it. I don't have abs, <laughs> so I don't know. I think I might have to, I think I might have to return these because I don't think this flatters me very well. I feel like it kind of like pinches in up here. Do you get what I'm saying? So it looks like someone's doing this. Like you can see like love handles there too. <laughs> You know what? I think I'm just going to return this. This is not flattering for me at all. Like, literally, I feel like I have double love handles. Like, no, triple. I feel like I have it here, here, and here. Maybe this would look good if you had, like, a really strong core. This is a size medium. Is that why it looks weird? Maybe that's why. Maybe it's too big. But I almost felt like it was kind of tight putting it on, too. Yeah, I'm definitely going to return this. Okay, so here is that beige blazer. Blazer blazer here's the blade uh, I got this in a size medium because they didn't have it in a small but I'm so glad I got it in a medium because I really like it when my blazers are oversized so um I feel like it's a perfect size <laughs> I feel like if I got a small it would have looked very like office job to me but I like that it's a bit oversized it's thin though it's very very thin which I'm very shocked because this was kind of expensive. It's got these buttons that I think blends in so well with the blazer. It looks so pretty. I wish it was a little bit longer in the sleeves, but it's okay. This is what the side looks like. Very, very cute. Now we have one last thing. All right, you guys. So this is the faux leather jacket. It's like a trench coat looking thing. I don't know if you could see the full details, but I really like it. It is a bit oversized, like around this area. On here, it fits me perfectly. I got this in a size small. When you do look at it though, I do feel like it comes off like kind of cheap looking, but I don't know. I feel like with the right outfit, it can look fine. It falls like by my, at the end of my calves basically. And it's got pockets. I'm trying to show you, but the lighting keeps going on and off, sorry. It's got pockets on both sides and it's very comfortable, like the pocket height. It also comes with a belt so you can like cinch it if you'd like. The arms are very, very roomy. Um, I also like where it lands on my hands. You can also tighten the wrist part if you want because it's got a buckle feature on there too. And yeah, it's super comfortable. But I need to wipe it down because it like leaves this like weird residue like on your Ugh, it feels like it's like erasing my fingerprints or something. It feels so freaking weird. Here's the back of it. I think it's super cute. I really like it. All right, you guys, that was my Zara haul. Please let me know if you have any questions. You can leave it in the comments below. I will leave the links to all of these in the description box. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!